Today, we become legends. So Maui's full kit has finally been revealed and he looks like a super interesting addition to the Guardian roster. So without further ado, let's jump in with his ability overview. So first off, we have Maui's unique basic attacks, which are a cleave, but not your traditional cone cleave. He cleaves in a frontal line area in front of him. So this is going to be really good for cleaving the minion wave and his basic attacks have a range of 30, which is significantly more than the 12 of standard melee users and 16 of spear users for reference. Ranged basic attacks are 55, so it's somewhat in between standard standard melee and standard ranged with that powerful cleave effect added on. Moving on to Maui's passive, we have Manai Kalani, which allows his basic attacks to pull enemies towards him if they were recently affected by hard CC. So soft CCs like slows, trembles, etc. won't proc this, but any hard CCs like stuns, knockups, roots, etc. will apply this for the duration and for two seconds afterwards. During this time, if the enemy is hit by Maui's basic attacks, they are pulled to him, and due to the nature of his vertical cleave basic attacks, there's potential to hit multiple enemies with this pull at decent range and group up minion ways with it as well. The internal cooldown of this passive is 10 seconds and can be seen on his passive meter. Getting into Maui's active abilities though, first up we have Master Fisherman, his one, which allows Maui to charge up his Fisherman Hook by spinning it around, which slowly increases the range as he channels the ability. On fire, the Hook strikes forward, damaging enemies and stopping at the first god hit, reeling them in slowly and crippling them for the duration, which is 1.5 seconds. This ability can be cancelled at any time, so if for example you've already pulled them enough to be in close range, you can cancel for follow-ups with the rest of his kit. Moving on to Maui's 2, Mystical Alua, which is an ability that does no damage and derives its value purely from utility, very fitting for a guardian. When thrown, a column of water is created and allies in the radius gain bonus movement speed and protections. The radius is 110, so twice the range of normal ranged basic attacks in all directions, so a really strong AoE here. And any ally that stands on the water pillar in the center for one second will be transported to Maui's location, allowing him to provide strong mobility to gods that might not have it in their kit, or even extra mobility to gods that already have some. The pillar lasts 10 seconds total, which is indicated by the water pillar collapsing over time, and the cooldown of the ability scales down to 10 seconds base at rank 5. So if this ability goes on cooldown immediately, this could potentially provi be providing effectively permanent protections and movement speed and a teleport to allies in the fight, though I'm not sure based on how they showed it in the patch notes if this goes on cooldown immediately or at the end of the duration. Of course, if it goes on cooldown immediately, it's significantly stronger than if it goes on cooldown at the end. Maui's 3 is his movement ability in which he lassos the sun and gains a pendulum targeter that swings back and forth. At any point, he can refire the ability to jump to the selected location, dealing damage and stunning any enemies in the area. So this ability is pretty simple aside from the unique targeter that we've not seen in Smite before. It's his traditional movement and can be used to engage fights or even get extra distance for allies teleporting using the two. He could deploy the two and then jump away to get extra distance, similar to a Kepri dashing away before his ult revives a teammate to keep them more safe. The stun will also be solid for engaging and peeling with this ability, plus he gets on target ability for a decently long time while he swings on the sun, which can be great for buying time in fights or dodging certain abilities. The stun Stun on this ability will also combo nicely with his basic attacks from his passive as he can jump in from range, stun an enemy and then follow up with a basic attack to pull them into him since they will be hard CC. And finally, Maui's ultimate landfall. Maui selects an area, leaps into the air and uses his hook to wrench up an island from the earth that launches any enemies in the area towards Maui and leaves the island in play for 4 seconds where it acts as a wall and will block player movement. This ability can be activated early once again to cancel the island much like Emiya's wall can. This ability has built in synergy in terms of pulling enemies out of position into your team and then using the island to block them from retreating back to safety and works well with his three as you can preemptively use the three to land on enemies you pulled in for a knock up into stun combo that you could even follow up with a pull from his passive auto attack straight afterwards. But that's Maui's kit overview. He looks like a really cool guardian with some aggressive elements like the cleave basic attacks and powerful knock up engage ultimate but also some strong defensive aspects like his protection and movement speed buff along with ally teleport on the three. What do you guys think of Maui? Will you be playing him on launch and how strong do you think he'll be with this current kit? Let me know down below and I'll catch you guys in another one later on. Have a great day and peace out you nerds.